We hope you know your dad and I love you so very much.
and you, you like mom interview that. <laughs> I take plans for every day, pack or backpack, and usually get well yelled at at least a minimum of three times. You might not know this about Leia, you know, you might not know this way, but those conversations we have in the car are like the best part of my day. From teaching you hip hop at the age of three, to teaching you how to rap, to taking your first Justin Bieber concert at four years old, which I know you still regret because they actually broke off stage and you didn't go, <laughs> to presenting the game ball at the 50 yard line at the Alabama football game, to going in the locker room, meeting the players, and just last weekend you're going to meet all your family together. All those memories are just me and you, and I'll never forget them. But this one here is the most special. When Mama and I was meeting with Rabbi Micah, leading up to this day, Micah asked me, what does Leah mean to us? The first thing that came to my mind was love. You wrote off Leah. You make people happy. You make your friends happy. And you bring everybody together. Leah loves her whole family and finds good in each one, every one of them. And Leah loves life. Doing the right thing, and this is rare, comes naturally to you. And no adventures do great. Leah. Mom and I are so proud of the person you've grown up to be. Your selflessness and the way you treat others. You're so smart. Thank goodness for Laura, because it's not me. You were born with the kindest heart and soul, and that's priceless. I wish I could take credit for all of you, but your mom did. Our family always says you have mom enough best qualities. For mom, you have your beauty, your beauty and your smarts, thank goodness. For me, you have your personality, self confidence, competitiveness. Swag. <laughs> <laughs> if I could give you one piece of wisdom from today, is to make Judaism like a lighthouse that will guide you through the toughest times in life. But like a lighthouse, it is important to know where Judaism is your lighthouse and calm seas too. So when weather gets bad, you will always know where that lighthouse in your Jewish faith is. In conclusion, I'd like to thank all of my family and friends for being here for Laura. Way enough, especially grandparents, Nana Janice uh, for practicing Hebrew with Leia, Grandma Freda for always being there for Leia, Papa Paul, Papa David, y'all are all so special to Leia, and Grandma Marvin for getting down with Leia and Laura, and I'm really very proud. To all his aunts and uncles, Joy, Amy, Rhonda, Uncle Bill, Robert, Jimmy, of course, cousins Millie, Gordon, and Madison, I know Leia loves y'all so very much. I want to thank Micah first for marrying Laura and I 22 years ago, my day anniversary. <laughs> and as some of y'all might, uh, might not know that Micah is, we were born out of Micah's first wedding at Cedar Rabbi. And Micah also named Leah. Also, want to thank Carly, Sharon, Emily for helping Leah prepare for this day. All right. So, since so, so tonight's going to be the biggest party that you've ever seen in your life, <laughs> and I, 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 I can promise you, and you will never forget it. I want to end this speech by a song dedicated to Leia. Leia will know the song, and so we all know the song too. Oh. I always knew you were the best, the coolest girl I know, so prettier than all the rest, the star of my show. So many times, I wish you'd be the one for me. I never knew I'd get like this, but what do you do to me? Girl, you know, you're not the runner up, and no matter what, you'll always be number one, my favorite girl. <laughs> With those beautiful words to our living tour, don't go nowhere, Mom and Dad. We're going to return the tour to the ark and call for cousins Madison, Gordon, and Millie. If the rest of us could turn to page 256, Psalm 148 says, Hallelujah, Shem, I'm 